All right. Um, this one is for uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, <clears throat> just before we even start, I have to say that I'm kind of undecided about how I feel about this one because I really like some of the directions that they took it of uh, kind of exploring kind of the more darker sides of the galaxy. Um, but, uh, I, I, I can't help but feel that the, uh, that the pacing of it was kind of weird and that it, uh, sort of ended just very abruptly. Um, and given that it, uh, kind of flopped in the theaters, I can't see them, uh, continuing this narrative. But anyway, all, all that's besides the point. Um, there's three way things that I, uh, that I wanted to, uh, to get to with this. Um, uh, the first thing, and this is something that I think that a lot of the Star Wars movies get to, um, but the first thing that I wanted to talk about is, uh, that, uh, the, the ugliness of Lady Proxima is, uh, kind of getting to something that, um, again, is touched on a lot in the, in the, uh, in the Skywalker saga, about um about the depiction of evil in various different ways um with lady proxima <clears throat> and again with jabba the hut um darth vader darth maul and a lot of these other more like grisly kind of characters you see evil being presented in a very clear uh gluttonous and scarred and very uh um and very obviously evil at appearance face value kind of way um but then at other points in the skywalker saga we see people in perfect health or people who seem very well put together i'm thinking of chancellor palpatine anakin skywalker um kind of the uh the orderly nature of a lot of the um a lot of the imperial uniforms um the way that those are put together essentially um just kind of comparisons of how evil is being depicted um in a lot of these different star wars installments that you can take away from a storytelling perspective that um there isn't just the job of the hut side of evil or there isn't just the darth vader side of evil it takes a lot of different forms um so that was one of three things uh the second thing and i think that this is I'm not sure if this was one of Woody Harrelson's throwaway lines, but there is this comment that gets made about when Han is translating something from uh, Chewbacca. He says, I don't know if he said tribe or family. And uh, Woody Harrelson's char uh, character says, is there a difference? And that, um, and that made me think of um, – this kind of broader conversation that we've been having kind of all throughout the Skywalker saga of, you know, do your bloodlines matter or, you know, is your family, are your friends the family that you choose or vice versa? And it's like, is where, is where you come from more important than where you choose to go? Um, that kind of evoked that whole um, discussion in my mind. And then the last thing that I wanted to get to um and there, and and I obviously do want to hit on the uh, the kind of larger social issues that they um, that they deal with um, uh, child labor and slavery at the very beginning on Corellia, and then um, the droid's name was L three three seven I want to say or or Leet as I've heard her called, um, uh, having her whole uh, position on droid rights. I definitely uh, don't want to um, ignore those things. Um, something important though, that I think that happened is that, um, uh, is there is this line that, uh, I believe her name was Kira, uh, says to Han, where she says that everybody serves somebody, um, just to find out that she is working for Darth Maul in some capacity. And I want to say that if I had to just tell you, like with a gun to my head, like what is the message of this movie? then I would probably say that the whole message of the movie is that everybody serves somebody. Um, you know, as we find out um, later in the original trilogy, Lando has his own ulterior motives and he winds up um, in the pocket of the Empire. Um, <coughs> um, 
Woody Harrelson's character all has his ulterior motives and he's working for these people who are working for other people. Um, essentially that, you know, there's always a bigger fish. Um, that, that's kind of a, that, that's kind of a consistent thing that happened, um, all throughout the movie. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was, um, uh, that was, uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, again, I'm kind of bummed out at, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of how bummed, I'm kind of bummed out at how they, um, how they, it, it felt very cut off, uh, very quickly. And I felt like they had a good thing going. Uh, maybe they'll pick up that narrative. Maybe they won't. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing where it goes, but, um, that's where I stand with, um, just all what all was in the movie.